Hello. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> so, I've been noticing this month that there's been some work surfacing, uh, some emotional, spiritual work. It hasn't been the easiest with the full moon on April 7th and Pluto going retrograde on the 25th of April. We've had a lot of karmic debts and transformations happening and I've definitely noticed it myself, had some struggles, had some old behavior patterns and attitudes and emotions come up that I thought I was a little bit further past, um, some deep issues coming back up for healing and it's been tough. I'm definitely grateful for the help um, that I've received and what I've noticed especially this month is we all need each other well for support of course but for triggers uh, we need people to trigger us we need people to test us to see how our love has grown uh, this is how it works so life is challenging life can be difficult if you choose to view those challenges as difficult uh, nobody's life is easy and happy and good all the time. That doesn't mean we can't experience those moments of peace and tranquility and joy and bliss and success and accomplishment because we certainly do have those times. But the whole purpose of being here on earth is to overcome these challenges, to grow our love. And so how are we going to do that without adversity, without triggers, without traumas? And so when these come up, it's an opportunity to grow and to learn. And it's not always easy. It's definitely usually messy. <laughs> um, sometimes people get hurt. It hurts. It hurts to grow. So let's try not to hurt others as we grow and learn our lessons. But as we get triggered, let's also be able to take a look at ourselves and see where we do need work and how we can grow. For example, some people, and I've been through it too, may have the feeling of something like, I'm good, not good enough, or um, any self-doubt, limiting beliefs, low self-esteem, um, thinking that things just aren't going the way we planned. And that's all the ego that plans this. So our higher self or God has given us this path and this opportunity for growth. And everybody's journey is different. So the best thing we can do is to not judge too much and to have understanding and compassion that just because somebody's going through something their way doesn't mean you have to do it that way and doesn't mean they have to do it my way everybody has their own way of having these challenges arise and their own timing on what they're overcoming and when we all we all here to help each other we're here to love ourselves and to love others so the judgment doesn't help a whole lot it's okay to self-reflect and see where we're at and compare ourselves to our past selves and see if we've made progress. That, but that's pretty much some of the only healthy judgment. So judgment of others doesn't really help anybody. Let's try to have kind thoughts about ourselves and about others. And that's how we're going to help the collective grow. And we'll come into love we can do this. Like I said, it's not easy. It can be challenging. It can be messy, but it's happening. This is the time for it. And we've came to earth right now in this period in order to do this. So you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Thank you.